Got a couple stickers for the rig here. Uh, this little mini mart here uh, in Big Sur. It is a nice little area. Happy to be here and happy to have been able to collect some stickers for the road. Um, got some ice here as well. Now we're heading back up. Catch the sunset. like a foggy rainforest. This does not look like California. This should not be California. But it is. I mean, this is so cool. I mean, this is just 10 minutes from the ocean. And less than a mile and a half from the beach. Right here. This, this is nuts. The ocean is out there. You can't tell, but it is. Getting above the clouds now. We're in the clouds, or below the clouds. Now we're getting above them. That'd be just be the most amazing sunset I've ever seen. And it's so gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. My phone overheated, that's unfortunate. Tonight we're actually gonna be doing our cooking a little bit differently. Like I was just saying, um, we're going to be doing our cooking right here so that you guys can see that and this sort of a sunset view. So, tonight I believe we're having a uh, sausage. Sausage dogs. Tonight we're having sausage dogs. So, that ought to be very good. I'm very much so looking forward to that. Should be, yes. Need a couple things out of here first. This up. Need a pan. Need a lid. Some propane.
need these plastic bags. Plastic bags are always handy to have. Not sure much can really make life easier than that sunset right there, though. Yeah. I don't know, but that can definitely make it hard. part of me is ever going to be able to get over being able to cook with that kind of a view. It's my first ever inverted sunset and man I am loving it. Look at that. It's just so cool. Wow. That's so neat. Oh, fans going around a little bit. Oh, oh fan is rumbling. So I typically have prongs to do things of this nature, but um, I don't have those with me tonight, so we're just going to use this fork here. What? sunset right there for us. Good morning folks. It is a beautiful day again. It's always here in California. We're gonna be heading back down south on that Pacific Coast Highway. And after we head south on that, we're gonna go what? Uh, went out west, east, over to Sequoia National Forest. We're gonna be trying to find some giant sequoias to camp in tonight. So yes, I'll let you guys know how that goes. Get yeah, packed up and get out of here now, though. Never be easy to leave with you like that. How you do it? Bye bye. Bye bye. last time is where my brakes went out. I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. I've been in first gear this whole time though, so it shouldn't theoretically happen again. It's been a lot easier on the brakes, I think. We're heading south, unfortunately, down the Pacific Coast Highway. I've already been that way, but that is what it is. When it's gray outside, it really makes me wonder. especially eerie for me because I know that there's like a 2,000 foot drop right there. It might not be 2,000 feet, but it's several hundred to maybe a thousand feet. It's pretty nuts. I know it's there. Winter comes, it really makes me wonder.